Chase Prison Story Family Salute, man. It's your boy Tim Snow back here with another one. With an amazing tale from another amazing guard on Michael's unit. The more you find out about the inside of these places, the more you'll be amazed. And then after a while, nothing will surprise you. If you've been paying attention to the last few videos, and I hope you are, if not, go check them out. I literally talked about uh, somebody dying on Michael's unit, some uh, fire not being reported by the guards. They lost their keys, all kind of stuff. And it's amazing that it just keeps rolling in and getting worse. This story here has a lot to do with those videos. And I think maybe they even helped a little bit uh, try to shake it up. And if so, shit, I'm proud of myself. But the rank on Michaels, the warden and the major, ordered that all chairs be removed from the guards because the sleeping problem is too severe and they're now getting exposed publicly. So these guards that the exact same people are overworking and allowed to work six days a week, 16 hour shifts, now can't even sit down during their time. And what it's causing is hostility from the guards. It's causing uh, other weird effects. Okay, but you have to think about it like this, how they're thinking about it. They don't care about the inmate safety. They don't care about none of that. What they care about is these guards in the in the guard picket keep falling asleep. And they're not protecting their own officers. They can literally be asleep while a female guard is getting raped. They can literally be asleep while a man guard is getting attacked and stabbed. They can literally be asleep when a fire happens, like what just happened, and wake up and not know where their keys are. Anybody that's had severe sleep deprivation knows it messes with your memory. It gives you a bad attitude, and it's just dangerous. A lot of these inmates that work in these prisons live in other areas because they're remotely located on purpose in country towns and things like that. So not only are they working these long shifts, they're commuting too, which as me being a truck driver, I know how extremely dangerous it is to have somebody driving 40 and 50 miles before and after 16 hour shifts. Texas prisons are putting the public's life in danger with that, not just inmates or guards, okay? So it's getting pretty bad. What happened the other day, you're not gonna believe, but being that the chairs are removed, a Texas prison guard sat down on top of a stairwell and fell asleep. Well, doing so, he rolled down the stairway and broke his skull. Literally a life-threatening injury from falling asleep. Everything covered up, nothing publicized. Nobody knew except a few inmates. And it's amazing. I'm going to say it over and over and over again. There needs to be more transparency, and these guards need to be held to a higher standard. They're there with a legal obligation to do their job. Taxpayer money is paying them, and to me it sounds like a whole bunch of them are wasting it and taking advantage of the system. So any citizen of Texas can relate to that. Wasting your dollars, not allowing you to know what happens, Come on now, something's got to change because you can get caught with a tattoo gun, a glass of wine, anything in a Texas prison, you're going to, you're going to close custody. They just ruined your life. Everything changed, but they can beat you. They can fall asleep. They can lose their keys. They can allow you to be murdered, raped, whatever, and nothing happens to them. What's going on, Huntsville? Y'all are getting a big black eye with the stuff that's going on in your prisons right now. I mean, big black eye. And we're going to start doing more and more like this. So be prepared. You're already as hard as you can be on the inmates. No pictures allowed. No, well, excuse me, no sexy pictures allowed. Not even bikinis anymore. They confiscated the men's pictures. The men in restrictive housing, they took their boots they can no longer have them. They have them walking in their socks. 
when they go to medical, walking in their uh, walking in their socks to go to kangaroo court, which an inmate never wins, no matter what. You're holding the inmates to a high responsibility. You're constantly taking privileges away, yet you allow your staff to do anything. And it's not a good look, man. As a taxpayer funded system, a state of Texas ran organization, y'all are failing, man. And we're going to keep exposing it. And I appreciate all the people that keep feeding me information like this because it's valuable for the public to know. And I will keep accepting it and I will keep keeping it quiet. Who tells me things? I just appreciate us being able to let the public know what's going on and how their tax dollars are being wasted by these people. Takes Prison Store family, thank you for all the support too. We just hit 56,000 people. And I'm asking everybody, please share this video out to your Facebook. Hit the thumbs up, drop me a comment because it helps the algorithm. And sharing it to Facebook is the number one way you can support us. We never ask for cash apps, donations, none of that stuff. That's not what we do here. But I am asking you, please share this one to your social media for us. And happy 4th of July from Tim Snow and baby girl Ella Rose, y'all. We love you.